Hello. Um, how is everyone doing? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, this is going to be a bit of a short video. First of all, I want to. Okay, I want to make very clear that I am doing a camel worst to best. I have all of them here. Okay, um, so I'm going to be doing a prediction video for today. And we all know now because we are all, well, hopefully most of us are followers of the progressive music group. All of that kind of stuff. I have been a fan of uh, this band for years. Um, the Flower Kings. I did my first worst to best on the on the band almost exactly a year ago now. Um, and then Waiting for Miracles came out. And then, well, I was both extremely happy with the release and a little bit disappointed in it. And that's all because just personal taste. Oh, well. I did think that that album did... It was it wasn't as experimental as all the other ones have been. It was a little bit more on the safe side. There was no actual there was no epic on the album, which was the one thing that bothered me most because the Flower Kings are really good at making these grand scale epics. For example, I mean uh, some of my favorite material has been um, Road to Sanctuary, the title track of Stardust We Are. The Garden of Dreams, I love numbers, and uh, uh, Mon Monsters and Men, um, Driver's Seat, I love all their epics. All of their epics are, from start to finish, really good. Oh, and of course, The Truth Will Set You Free, how can you forget about that one? Um, oh, and Tower One's gonna be one of my top ten favorite songs by the band of all time. So, I am making a prediction video today. I'm going to be predicting what this new Flower Kings album will sound like, what it'll, how, what kind of album album it will be. Um, so, first prediction. We already know that the release date is going to be in um, November. So, I imagine that we will get the title and album cover in around mid-August. So, say the 16th or the 17th, around there. Um, and then we will get our first song in early September or even late August. It is very possible because apparently to Marco De Mayo, who, great drummer, love his work, um, he said that the pie is in the oven and it's being baked right now. So I imagine that we will be getting a single very, very, very soon. And stop with the door. <laughs> um... So, I imagine that it'll be a very... Because, uh, Roin did... Roin did say that, <laughs> um, it's going to be... There's a lot... There's a lot more songs, and there's a lot more minutes. So, that leads me to believe that the next album will be a double album. Which will be... Which would be fantastic. I really want an, I really want a double double album from the band. That's my prediction. That's my number one prediction. And my other prediction for the more minutes. I think that there might it might actually be kind of like an unfold the future mixed with um, the Rainmaker and um, Stardust We Are kind of thing. It will be. It'll open and close with an epic. Uh, for the album. The album will open with an epic and then close with an epic. Um, we might get a few... We might... I think the first disc will be eh, about five songs. Uh, the first song will be probably about 25 minutes in length. And then the rest of them will probably be around uh, the 8 to nine, uh, eight, 8 to 12 minute mark for the first disc. So five, So five songs on the first disc. And the second disc will have the like shorter interludes, it'll have some more single songs, and then it'll close off with another 20 to 30 minute epic. So that's my biggest, uh, for the format, that's my, uh, that's my second prediction. Uh, the third one, I think that the band is looking for something that they can grab onto it. They're looking for a little bit more of a complex song structure kind of thing. I think it's going to go back into that more flower power, Stardust We Are meets the Rainmaker and the Unfold the Future jazz fusion kind of stuff that they were doing for their, um, for this new one. I think that that's the sound that they're going to be capturing. They want to go a little bit more retro and hopefully capture some of the magic with the, with the newer guys. 
I think that uh, Zach Kamins, who also is very, very excited about this new release, um, I think he's going to have a lot more uh, presence in this new album. I think that uh, Waiting for Miracles was very... Um, it didn't have a lot of um, stuff when it came down to, uh, well, Zach. I thought Zach uh, could have done a little bit more, but as I was uh, apparently led on to believe, I think that uh, Roy wanted the last one to be kind of more of a world uh, back in the world of Avengers kind of thing, ra rather than it not being, you know, extremely grand and... Uh, more single based rather than playing based and a lot more complex. I don't think he was going for complexity in the last one. I think that this one he's going to be going for complexity. So I think it actually could very well sound kind of like the sum of no evil in that kind of jazz fusion sense with that more flower power and Stardust We Are experiment experimental sound to it. Um, my next prediction is, is that the album name and album cover. I feel like they might either... I think that they all will they will find in uh, another painting, or they'll go back to Celia Stabell, which, by the way, kind of hope they do because, as much as I love the Waiting for Miracles one uh, album cover, I think that it would do them very well if they went ahead and uh, went back to Celia because he's got a really good idea for the band and what they and what the feel of the album should be fitting the album cover. I also think that they'll try and bring back some old concept from back, from way back. So, a couple of ideas. Actually, you'll see it in the thumbnail. I think that they'll try either like um, uh, something like kind of like Jupiter backwards or something like that. I think that that would be really cool for the format and the layout of not the layout. Um, the personnel on this album. I think we're going to see um, Haas Bernson come back, and we're also, I think we're also going to see uh, Oof Wallander come back on saxophone and flute and all that kind of stuff, which would be really good. I think that, that would bring it back. I also think we might get a little bit more harmonies on this album. We might get a little bit more harmonies because they were experimenting a lot with harmonies on the last one. And they don't usually do these really grandular harmonies, um, but they did some on their on their um, on the albums that they put out recently. Um, but that's basically it. I have nothing more really to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did. I love sitting down and predicting some of my uh, some some things that I care a lot about. Um, Roin. I'm going to say this, you're a genius in the in in modern day prog as as well as retro. And I know that this I'll, this I'm I'm very excited for this new release. Um so thank you very much for watching. Um if you have any predictions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.